guys, what is up? This is Grow Every Day. It is currently December 6, 2021. A little time stamp to look back on this in the future and see what's going on. So today I want to talk a little bit about what am I planning on doing when ETH goes proof of stake or ETH 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Well, there are lots of other coins out there to mine right now. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. But one interesting thing is the hash rate that Ethereum currently has. Let's just talk about that first of all. So let's go up here to the Ethereum network hash rate. We are currently at 887 terahashes per second. So that is a lot of hashing power, 887 terahashes per second. So right now, in anticipation of this, I am mining Ravencoin. So Ravencoin you can take your Ethereum hash rate and about cut it in half, and that gives you roughly what the Ravencoin hash rate will be. So this is equal to about 16 terahashes of potential Ethereum network capability right here. So Ethereum hash rate is at 887, Ravencoin is at eight. This is equal to about 16 terahashes in Ethereum. We are looking at Ethereum is 50 times the size of Ravencoin right now. So there's 50 times the hash rate on Ethereum as there is on Ravencoin. So if even a little bit of this moves over to Ravencoin, this particular algorithm is going to absolutely explode. If even 10% of Ethereum moves over to Raven, we are going to add, that adds 50% to this. So if we take 10% from Ethereum, Move it over to Ravencoin. Ravencoin is going to jump up to 12 terahashes per second, probably overnight or pretty darn close to it. And we're going to get a massive spike like this where we just absolutely increase. And then it's going to be, you know, going nuts. Difficulty is going to go up. Rewards are going to drop. But at the same time, hopefully the coin value goes up. Plus there's the halving in Raven, but that's a kind of a whole nother story. That's currently why I'm mining Ravencoin, is I'm trying to get as many as I can before the halving, and then I'm going to be switching over to something else. So Ethereum is the big whale right here. We'll say more. We'll say 20%, 30%, maybe 40% goes over to Ravencoin. This could very easily double or triple, maybe even quadruple in hash rate overnight. So what will that mean? Payouts drop, difficulty increases, hopefully prices Let's see if we can do, there's no prices on here. Hopefully prices increase at the same rate. You can see network difficulty follows hash rate quite nicely. So another coin that you could potentially mine is Ergo. This is for the year. I don't know exactly. I've never personally mined Ergo yet, so I'm not sure how. This relates to Ethereum. It's quite a bit higher. I think that this is maybe like four times as high. So if your card, I'm just making these numbers up. But let's say your card's getting 100. Maybe it's like three times. If your card's getting like 100 mega hash on Ethereum. It's maybe doing about 300, ter uh, 300 mega hashes on Ergo. So this is actually equal to maybe like, I don't know, six or so tera hashes compared to Ethereum. So again, these are really small networks compared to Ethereum. So if, if Ergo, Ravencoin, same goes for Fyro. If Fyro takes a bunch, all of the, this must have been the algorithm swap. I was looking at this. That must be what that is when they changed over to FyroPow. So if all of these coins end up taking some from Ethereum, this will be interesting charts. It's going to look like this. You're just going to be coming along and then boom, hash rate's going to be just so much higher. So these coins are hopefully going to go up in price. They'll have a lot more eyeballs on them. Maybe they won't. That's kind of a gamble we're all taking. If you pop over here to what, what to mine, you put anything in there. We'll just say we're going to take five of these guys. You got five of these, five of these. Five of these, looks good. So over on what to mine, we'll just put just put some random cards in there. 
You can see there's a Ethereum is top dog right now, but there is a whole lot of other coins to mine right now. We got Conflex, Ergo, Cero, I don't even know what that is. Ravencoin, We've got the Octopus algorithm, Conceal, look at this Beam, all these things. There's Flux down here. All kinds of Ryo, I don't even know what any of these things are. Eternity, ETH Classic, Vertcoin, here's Fyro. Surprise, Fyro's this low. Might might have been taking a big hit recently in the due to the recent drop in prices. But the point in this is there are a whole lot of other coins that you can be mining with your cards. So yes, when ETH goes to proof of stake, it's going to be a huge upset to the market. It's going to just be crazy. A lot of guys are going to move over to these other algorithms. Maybe a lot aren't have going to have any clue what to do and they're just going to stop mining. You know, nobody knows. But what we do know is that the most profitable sorry, the most power efficient cards are the ones that are going to be mining the longest if these don't pan out. Like if your cost to mine costs more than your price of electricity, it does not make sense to mine anymore. So all the older cards, you know, your RX 580s, your 10 series cards, your, I don't know, whatever, the least efficient cards are out there. Those guys are all going to drop off first. And then your more efficient cards, like your 3080s, your 3070s, you got your 6600s. Those cards are all going to be staying mining longer than anybody else. And what eventually is going to happen is that there has to be a price equilibrium where the price to mine, you get a profit from it. Because if it costs more money to mine than you get from it, nobody's going to mine anymore. And so there will be no mining. These projects are all going to kind of go away. Nobody's going to be there to verify anything. And it just won't work. So eventually what has to happen, our prices have to come up and hit that equalization point where miners are making at least something or breaking even because there has to be some incentive to mine in the first place to support these projects or they all just go away. So that's kind of what we need to wait and see what happens. But in the meantime, lots of other things to lots of other things to mine. Here's just some prices I'm tracking here are some other coins that you can mine. Personally, I'm mining a whole lot of Ravencoin, which has absolutely tanked. I remember watching this at 20 cents American. We're sitting at 9 cents, so that's that is just brutal. So what I'm personally doing I'm mining Ravencoin, waiting for the halving, which happens in roughly, geez, that's maybe like a month, a month and a little bit. It happens in January of 2022. Once that halves, mining rewards are going to drop. I think it's a 5,000 reward, 5, rewards per block. That's going to drop to 2,500. At that point in time, I'm off Ravencoin, and I'm going to start mining possibly Fyro, or Ergo. There's a couple other ones in here. I think those are the two that I'm going to start to look at a little bit. We'll see what the most profitable algorithm is. If Ethereum's still doing good after the Ravencoin halving, maybe I'll move my rigs over to Ethereum and just trade for some of these other ones because I want to have some of these other coins for when ETH goes proof of stake because if all of that hashing power trickles down to these other coins, all that attention of all these coins suddenly overnight get two times three times the computing power throwing at them that's going to be pretty interesting i'm guessing that the price of a lot of these will kind of go up maybe they won't maybe they will but i want to have some money in some of these other ones and kind of see what happens so as a miner that's kind of what i'm looking at i'm going to be updating this more as we get closer to that date We'll see what happens to Ravencoin after the halving. I'm going to have a lot of rigs moving off of there. i got a lot of LHR cards. So that's kind of what I've got going on here. Lots of stuff to look at. Lots to think about. Lots of other coins here to mine. Keep an eye on these this total network hash rate here. This total network hash rate. This is going to go to zero. And all this gigantic Terra hashes here. These are all going to move over. So some of this is actually ASIC computers. Nobody really knows how much. We can guess, I don't know, maybe 50% of that. So I don't know what those ASICs are going to do. I have no idea what they're going to do. But all those graphics cards are going to point somewhere. And these are kind of the three that I'm looking at right now. Fyro, Ravencoin, Ergo. 
So we're at 17.29 terahash on Ergo. Yeah, this is roughly 7 to 8. It bounces around as you can see. It's like 7 to 8 terahash on Raven, Fyro. It's about 100 gigahash. So very interesting to see what happens here. I'm going to keep my eye on these three. Those are the big three that I'm looking at right now. Hopefully this is kind of enlightening to some of you guys. Maybe you have a different opinion on this. Maybe there's some coins I'm completely missing that I should be that I should be watching. Maybe there's some other ones out there. Let me know if there are. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you miners are planning on doing when all this happens, when Ethereum goes to proof of stake. You know, proof of stake is coming close, and this just keeps rising. More and more and more cards or ASICs are just getting thrown on this, like nonstop. Look, this is just a steady progression of. Let's we'll go to all time here. This is just a steady increase. It's just crazy. For curiosity, here's when I got in mining right here. I had a bunch of RX 580s, and the payouts were just mental. I was getting. I don't know, 1.6 Ethereum a month, roughly, on, I don't even remember, 500 to 800 mega hashes or something. And now I'm running 2.4, consistently about 2.5 giga hash, and my payout is even lower. It's like 1.2. So I was running like 25% of the hash rate back then, back around here. And I was getting more rewards than I am now. So that just shows you what happens when this difficulty increases. That's going to be the same thing that happens to these other networks. So these big rewards that we're getting right now, those are going to be gone. But at the same time, you know, back then Ethereum was worth, it was peaking around $800, $1,000. And it was hovering around 200 for a long time, 200 bucks, with these big rewards. But then you got all this computing power on here. You got all this interest. And, you know, you know where we are right now. We're at sitting at $4,300 right now. So back here, $200, bucks. up here, $4,300. So maybe that's the same thing over here. We'll look at Raven. You know, we're sitting at $0.10 cents right here. If all of a sudden the hash rate comes, you know, busts way up here, we got 20 terahash. terahash. Maybe this goes up to 100 eventually. The price might follow that. We might be sitting around a couple dollars for this. Maybe not. We'll see. That's all just part of what we need to figure out, balancing the risk versus reward. That's all I got for today. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. If you have any ideas for me in the future, let me know. If any of you guys are interested, you should check out my other videos. I did a complete rig rundown on everything that I have. And then slowly going forward, I'm going to be going through each and every single one of those rigs, telling you what cards are in them, telling you my overclocks, kind of telling you the performance, what coin they're on, how they're doing, maybe some rough prices on what it costs me to put them together. Hope you guys get some value out of that. That's what I'm going to be doing over the next little while. It'd be awesome if you check that out. Give me a thumbs up if you like that idea. Subscribe if you want to see more of that. And I will talk to you guys later.